I don't think a mentor should all of a sudden just start giving advice. Uh, I, I think uh, listening is really the key skill uh, and building trust and, and being that, that sounding board. If the person asks for advice, then, then can give it. But, but I, I, I've seen relationships where there's just not enough listening and, and the mentee is not really <coughs> valuing the, the interaction. And I, I think particularly with a formal program like we have here, we, the mentors who are normally the senior people um, should be careful of that. You know, that the first goal is to establish a relationship and, and, and really do a lot of listening and learning about that, that person. Maybe you get asked for some advice, maybe you don't. The, the best uh, relationships tend to be the ones where the mentor sees uh, the mentee uh, as in a position where they would have been 10, 15 years earlier. So what that means is there's uh, perhaps a default for somebody who looks like you, right? So one of the challenges is to be truly invested in a mentor relationship is being willing to step outside of that and, and see uh, a young professional for what he or she brings to an organization and be encouraged by that. Uh, it's, a, it's a leap of faith to do it. It's not easy to do, but the best programs are those that uh, don't have a forced formal structure that forces the outlook notice and, and, and stilted meetings. So you've got to be willing and able to, to break down uh, the walls of, of familiarity and, and work with folks as you find them because they are from a technical and professional perspective exactly where you were 10, 15, 20 <clears throat> other years ago. But um, it, the, the best way you can pass on what you've learned in your career is to, again, just to embrace someone and help them along.